Let's go. Hey everybody, Coach Scott here, and I'm gonna talk about a somewhat controversial subject today, and that's cholesterol medication. Uh, you see cholesterol lowering statin drugs and those type of medications like uh, uh, Lipitor and Crestor, they've been the number one prescribed class of drugs in the US for years, that's right, for years. Uh, there's more than 215 million prescriptions and that's about $14 billion that drug companies collect every single year. And a recent report uh, from the government's National Center for Health uh, Statistics showed that over 25% of Americans aged 45 and older are on statin drugs. That's right, compared to only 2% back in the early 90s. And by the way, remember that this drug came on the market in the late 80s. And now we are seeing incredibly increasing uh, prescription rates uh, and prescriptions being prescribed for these drugs. And it's not surprising that statin drugs are so popular because cardiovascular disease is still the biggest killer of Americans. And it's linked, and many times these, uh, these companies will link your bad cholesterol or your LDL, uh, again, to, to, this tra to this tragedy. And again, when you think about uh, the, the, the people's mindset of being in fear mode, that cholesterol, uh, the high cholesterol and the bad cholesterol uh, is, is contributing to heart disease, it's simply not true. When you think about LDL lowering statins, you know, it's a science proven and it's a strategy for people that have been diagnosed with heart disease or other blood vessel blockages, basically. You know, you're in that very, very small category. But studies have shown and proven that eight out of 10 cardiovascular events or heart attacks, eight out of 10 of those people who suffered a heart attack, guess what? They had normal ranges of cholesterol. So again, when you think about LDL and your HDL, your low density lipids, your high density lipids, and you think about all the people that are prescribed just because they have a, a reading uh, uh, that's, that's not in the reference range, what we call clinical ranges, uh, may, may, uh, can be quite different than what we call functional ranges. And we'll talk about that on another day. But if you've already, uh, if you've got, you know, cardiovascular disease, uh, then again, a lower uh, LDL lowering statin uh, might really, really help you. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the average person who has not been diagnosed with cardiovascular disease. Again, so, and interestingly enough, cholesterol. Cholesterol is not about your food. It's about your liver. Cholesterol, almost all your cholesterol is produced out of your liver. And people who have taken statin drugs that have not been diagnosed with cardiovascular disease, and by the way, that's a simple blood test that can show you what your cholesterol levels are and your doctor can, uh, can get you that test ordered or, or get that blood panel ordered. Again, when you're thinking about all these uh, drugs that are in these statins that have been prescribed to millions and millions of Americans, shockingly, there's, a, there's an incredible amount of evidence and scientific reviews. There's multiple studies that shows and proves that statins are virtually useless for prevention and primary prevention of cardiovascular disease. So again, this is one of the reasons that I support uh, the, uh, the Hill and Recovery Powder. It's not only a highly, highly effective anti-inflammatory formula, but it's also an incredible, an incredible uh, liver cleansing and detoxif uh, detoxifying product. So again, that will help you more than anything else. If you get your liver cleaned up, you are definitely, you are definitely going to improve your cholesterol. There's no question because again, cholesterol, 90% of it or more, is produced from the liver. And the Hill and Recovery Powder was designed originally for a hydration formula and an anti-inflammatory, but we've also added super fuel in there and super food and super micronutrition that allows it to detox the liver as well. And that's where your greatest results are gonna come from. So I know this is controversial to a lot of people, but the, but the, st the st statistics are what they are. The studies are what they are. It's not my opinion, it's fact. So if you're concerned about your cholesterol, obviously talk to your doctor. You can talk to the coaches about situations that you may be dealing with, but I would certainly in, uh, just encourage you strongly to consider the type of statin drug that you're on and the possibility of you moving your life into a direction that allows you to get off that as soon as possible. Because we know that one, there's multiple, multiple side effects. Primarily, the main side effect is the is the absorption of nutrients and minerals in your body and the blockage of that. 
So when you're on a statin drug, it blocks uh, incredibly, incredibly uh, great minerals and nutrients, uh, vitamins and things that you're gonna be depleted of and it's gonna give you some type of malnutrition absorption rate. So again, we'll talk about that more in another video, but until the next time, keep your foot on the gas, keep believing, stay in faith. Don't forget to take that healing recovery powder. I'm telling you, it is miracle in a bottle and it can help you. And that's why we got so many reports coming back from all of our clients about after taking that, the great results and their cholesterol levels going back into normal reference ranges. So God bless you guys. If you've got any questions, reach out to us. Take care, we'll see you soon.